today we're going to be talking about the impact of you know a global modern world that exists for you know my fellow 90s kids and my fellow millennials while this modern world actually poses a lot of choices and a lot of new norms i think the new choices and new norms especially when applied to our romantic relationships leads to their own new problems and with so many parameters to optimize for it leads to either a long process in finding the one or just a painful one <laughs> in finding the one and today you know to discuss more about what are those problems and what are their modern day solutions we have kushali who is a coach and a therapist with a like with an experience of 14 years she's worked with a lot of people my age uh, and i would assume that you know she she knows what she's talking about today a lot of us are raised with the idea that one day you will be complete yeah settled. when you settle yeah <laughs> right so uh, girls are brought up with the idea that uh, you know once you get that right person then you are complete boys are raised with the idea that uh, we have to make sure that we are able to provide when that right person comes into our life hmm so both of them they're spending a decent amount of years of their life thinking that there is going to be somebody when they arrive then it's all going to be good and until then it's not and if that's what you're thinking then until then it's not right mm. so it's taught shame but it's also something that we carry we're conditioned to it right until we truly consciously let go of it mm. so ye to it's something that you experience with yourself i have seen uh, with some of my clients as well that there is nobody who is demanding that they get married or they have stable long term relationships in their immediate or extended family and yet they suffer mm. and there is that feeling that when is that going to happen for me mm. so where is that coming from it is coming from one definitely our own needs okay right. yeah. emotional needs that we've understood that you know they can be fulfilled with a partner mm. even a lot of basic things like you know how logistically life becomes easier mm. to a lot of people in different cities this has happened mm. uh, like it's difficult for single people to get places on rent yeah very small examples but they matter and they impact our self worth correct it tells us that we are not okay we're not there yet for somebody to accept us mm -hmm. so yeah these impact us in a certain way so we create those beliefs we we condition we are conditioned to the shame mm -hmm. apart from this there is the outer world of course the uncles and the aunties who keep telling you so when you have a group of friends and if they are already dating people you're going out you're just feeling left out mm -hmm. sometimes you can't make the trips that you want to make because uh, they're already in pairs they're already couples there is nothing really nobody says anything and there's nothing really to say but it's an experience you carry how can one deal with that i think that one is to work through this shame acknowledge it that it's showing up it, but also like let go of it if we go back to it you know it was at some point of time pati parmeshwar right then we move to he's the better half then it moved to other half we are at other half right now we still haven't moved to the part where i am truly complete by myself mm. yes i would like a companion and there can be various reasons for that mm. but feeling totally first okay by yourself that i'm good and that happens when we have a very healthy self worth mm. of course our self worth gets impaired a lot through multiple relationships that we experience right even if they're not romantic relationships yeah our relationships with our with other family members friends and our our uh, experiences at work let's say yeah and i think like just the whole experience of dating rejection breakup that whole cycle can be very denting on anybody's self worth right like Completely. i mean yes um, people ghosting yeah people ghosting exactly right it's really troublesome to keep going through that yeah and 
beyond annoying it is deeply frustrating correct and like i mean whatever one may say that it does take some amount of like you know um, emotional investment right like intense. i mean right i mean intense emotional investment i mean if the way that we invest uh if we're making any big decisions of our life it could be buying a house it could be anything that's long term correct know? we will want to get it right right yeah so if it's a partner we definitely want ourselves to be fully emotionally invested to understand that is this the right person and until we don't go a little way we don't know whether this is right or not so mm. you can't have it on a screen and be like hmm ye sahi hai ki nahi mere liye exactly and and when that doesn't work then it does impact your um... and you can't even experience a relationship ke uh, bina em- emotional investment correct लाइक हाँ चलो देखते हैं थोड़ा सा ऐसे समझ में नहीं आएगा हाँ सो यू नीड अ सर्टेन लेवल ऑफ आई डोंट बी ऑथेंटिक एज वेल राइट लाइक यू वोंट कनेक्ट यू नो गोइंग बैक टू द फैक्ट दैट वी आर एक्चुअली ऑप्टिमाइजिंग राइट लाइक इफ यू वांटेड टू सेटल वी कुड हैव सेटल लॉन्ग अगो राइट आई मीन आई एम श्योर लाइक यू नो द इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग अबाउट रिजेक्शन इज लाइक वाइल वी आर गेटिंग रिजेक्टेड वी आर ऑल्सो रिजेक्टिंग अदर पीपल राइट दैट्स हाउ दिस so called game works right, right? i mean right. that's that's the whole dynamic right it's not basically like it's not that you are out to get picked by of but course. you're also yeah. like deselecting people so to Tum say kisi swamvar mein nahi pahunch gaye when when you know you are getting rejected and when you are rejecting other people it's important to remember that you know you are actually in it by your own free choice as you it's tough it's i mean it is but it's, it's important tough. like yes. i mean it can be very like you know empowering to kind of get in touch with that i i i agree yes it can be very empowering and i think like you know um what i was saying about choice or what i was saying about you know um i mean i think it's like at times important once you actually like you know process your emotional experience about it you know whether you're hurt whether you're feeling rejected whether you're feeling not good enough whether you're feeling ignored unloved right like there are so many experiences which actually can show up at that point of Correct. time right yeah. that sort of emotional experience uh, clouds any objectivity with respect to you know the process as well right like i mean i'm calling it a process because like it's a process until uh you know we call it done for example sure. right whichever yeah. way but it's a journey it's a process, process. however we like yeah. it yeah but like I, as you said that you know i mean it's like there are so many variables on which people are now aligning wanting alignment on as such so until we kind of restore the emotional self i think it's very difficult to get to the point where you can freely like keep making a choice you know that yeah. that it just become like a game okay next you know like <laughs> yeah mean, the emotional restoring like how you said is important so that you're not getting desperate but you're seriously committed to looking for somebody correct and there is a big difference in both. absolutely like energy wise it just different energy wise and the way you will receive the other person uh the way you're going to be able to get involved Correct. in understanding the other person it's very different you don't come with a weight when you're just committed to seriously looking for it yeah if you don't restore your emotional health you will carry the weight mm-hmm. and it will impact mm-hmm. how it impacts is you're not going to be able to find a healthy person for yourself yeah because an emotionally healthy person is not going to be able to get that entrance in terms of knowing your world correct you don't come from a very healthy space so you're not going to be able to gauge how good that is for you and in all probability you will land up with another with another emotionally unhealthy person mm. so it is a cycle there mm. is a risk of that cycle going on if you don't store your emotional health yeah restore your emotional yeah. health i kind of understood it you know from um being doing and having triangle basically so if you're being somebody who's rejected and if you're being somebody who's desperate so called right and like i mean it's a very harsh word but like it's important to sometimes get that that's what we end up becoming when we've sort of lost hope right like i mean Correct. that's why any like half decent prospect looks like the person i've been there yes yeah. if i look back i was almost 
like you know considering that okay this is it for me yeah and when i look back i see that how in that moment because i hadn't worked on myself i was about to make a terrible choice exactly because you can't see your your the glasses that you're wearing are so tinted at that time and they're very like scarcity oriented in some sense right yes, like i mean your hair nahi basically types right Haan. so if badhiya lag raha hai exactly you know <laughs> so so when the being is of somebody who is desperate or who is you know operating from a place of there aren't enough options we end up taking actions also right like either we would be um you know like anxiously texting getting worried when we're not getting a text back um like forcefully trying to make plans for example right and the result of that is like you have either an unhealthy emotional and healthy partner or you know a toxic so called relationship right which is not reciprocatory yes. in some sense and agar wo bhi nahi hai by chance there is a lot of agony that you're dealing with exactly time. yeah there absolutely. is anxiety there yeah. is a uh, internal emotional agony yeah yeah i mean the whole turmoil is the there whole turmoil, correct whereas if like you know if the being is of somebody who is like you know out there optimizing making a choice you know playing the game it's okay you know the action you would take is that you would you know um like invest your energies where it's needed wanted you right? also be open to different yeah. ways, ways of being absolutely let's say. exactly right yeah. and and maybe you know maybe the result could be like an emotionally healthy relationship or a partner but the result also could be that even if you don't have those results you have at least you have like peace of mind and i think the capacity to build fulfillment for yourself absolutely additionally yeah yeah that i am complete mm. i'm okay right. yes i'd like a companion but i'm totally okay i don't have to hold up on the things that i need to do or the things that i want ki jab wo hoga tab wo hoga so you're okay doing the things go ahead do the things that you know you want to make you feel fulfilled correct that also adds to that self esteem right hmm and um i think like i mean until as you said right until you fix yourself you can't really attract uh, you know a healthy equation or a partner fix is a very harsh word though but yes i think that heal wo जहां से भी तुम आए हो कुछ तो इम्पैक्ट हुआ है कैन वी हील दैट इन अ वे दैट इट अलाउज यू टू एक्सपीरियंस समथिंग मोर फुलफिलिंग हाउ आर यू गोइंग टू लिटरली स्प्रेड द लाइट इफ देर इज नॉन फॉर योर सेल्फ इफ योर कप इज नॉट फुल यू बींग एबल टू फाइंड समबडी हु इज गोइंग टू बी एबल टू शेयर योर हैप्पीनेस एंड जॉय इन लाइफ द चांसेस आर स्लिम स्लिम और अफकोर्स नॉट दैट it cannot happen right but and if we were to truly come down to like you know just a few steps let's say to navigate this period hmm that okay so navigation of course we've spoken so much about healing it's also getting a kind of a tribe for yourself that there are people who are um at your age at your socio economic level are still very healthily looking out for uh partners potential partners with the online accessibility today you have a lot right of possibilities like i know that uh, when i made the decision to be child free it was not something that was very popular uh very popularly accepted let's say mm. but there are a lot of groups which uh, exist i find i have found a lot of groups online who are couples child free who are people who have chosen to be child free and you know that this is also another way of living life and it's okay right so how are we going to work on shame we're going to work on shame with certain things that add to our life and our personality right so i have to find something that tells me that this is okay yeah or whatever like some space where you feel understood in some sense right? understood yes so if i i'm feeling understood in a community of people i'm going to have more tolerance to let's say how you call those uncle aunties or i'm going to have more tolerance when i look at those social media posts of other mm. people 
hanging out with their partners only or you know sharing posts of like abundant love right <laughs> so it allows me to feel okay yeah and so there is healing there is uh, finding, finding a, a tribe, tribe. Uh, a lot of us come from that uh, space of people pleasing i know that i did so i would overextend myself to fulfill other people's needs hmm. which i do see it's it's pretty common now uh, a lot of people are also self aware in that sense so when you are prioritizing other people so much it is going to be resentment and frustration hmm. and it's not going to let you experience your relationship fully but also then knowing when to say yes so for example a conflicting conversation having a difficult conversation with your partner creating tolerance for that discomfort of you know somebody is is troubled or hurt or is not okay and you will have to make some changes for that mm. so committing yourself and saying yes to those critical conversations or actions that you may need to take to allow your relationship to flourish and when we work on these things it naturally so um very positively impacts our self worth so it's like you know it's all looped in it's all connected hmm on one hand we are saying that okay we are optimizing for like you know more variables than our previous generation yes right and that's why it's okay to like you know um meet a lot more people uh, and if if someone feels remotely interesting get you know slightly emotionally invested to see how it actually might be or try to authentically connect and then if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out move mm-hmm. right that's one right. now the other is <laughs> that you know it's like okay this could be fear of commitment and honestly i think it can get very confusing for like yeah. an individual right am i am i actually optimizing or am i fearing to commit right because yeah. it can be confusing to one self and i think it can be very confusing to like a personal i fully really like, agree yes right? i agree that this you can always rationalize your of uh, course our intellectualizing <laughs> rationalizing capabilities are such intense yeah and instagram uh, content <laughs> makes it <laughs> a lot more uh, data backed as well but i'm serious yeah. right like you could be in the same spot now one can say that hey you have a fear of commitment and you're like no i'm just optimizing you know like i don't want to settle i don't want to have a bad marriage i don't i want this to be my only marriage you know like i hear people yeah. give all these kind of uh, reasons as well and i'm just i'm not saying that that's like a reason i'm just saying it's the dilemma, how does one distinguish the dilemma exists the choices exist and so the dilemma will exist in a right. certain way however i see that when i when we say the word fear of commitment i think it comes from that space where you are feeling fully invested in that relationship hmm. everything ticks off but you don't want to go ahead so all of us will have certain things that we need in our life or we want in a partner okay when all of that ticks off when you are being able to experience a fulfilling relationship hmm. and yet you're unable to take that call or move forward in the relationship hmm i would term that as fear of commitment now at that point if you're th- still thinking you know we can call it analysis paralysis if you're still thinking what if there is someone better for me hmm okay or uh, even it's okay if you think what is someone's better for me walk out of this hmm don't hang in there then then go ahead and look for that that okay five things whatever five things 15 things this is the kind of person that i really want uh this meets the category i just discovered i want a few more things in the person that i'm looking for hmm. go ahead and look hmm. or experience it that then goes back to the optionality part so they both look a little different fear of commitment it. is not letting go but also not walking forward it makes the other person feel they're stuck and it starts to it's like a debilitating experience hmm you know it starts to rupture your relationship there is something that we call as relationship capital hmm okay that two people build they're forming a relationship and living it hmm. so to say when there is fear of commitment deep fear of commitment the ruptures become more and the capital reduces so you don't have enough left then if if this carries on for way too long 
while the other person is really like you know waiting when this would move forward the resentment is already you know been there yeah and beyond resentment what happens is that they already lived the grief of this relationship not carrying on because they can't walk out there is no verbal contract mm. so they don't want to walk out because they're so invested yeah right and I the other person is not helping again and but then you know that this isn't going anywhere by then and so you're grieving you've grieved the loss already while being in the relationship and that is how it becomes a heavy thing to carry that's the hurt that you will carry so being in a committed relationship with fear of commitment is a deeply hurtful thing to do um like what if uh, you're in a situation where your partner has uh, a fear of commitment very clearly uh, and they're not watching your episode <laughs> i i am for example right um it's not easy actually right like when yeah. you know that the outside world of dating is so unfamiliar so scary there's so much familiarity uh, that is there already with this person uh, you also don't want to give up entirely mentally because you know uh, you do think that you know this can work this person just needs to work with a therapist maybe we should you know like take sessions together you know you do all of those things but um you're not the person with the fear of commitment you're right. the party the receiving end yeah you're the receiving end like what can one do what should one be doing first of all acknowledging that it's a very painful experience yeah uh you don't want to give up because you believe in the goodness of the relationship right you don't want to give up also because you will carry giving up hmm you know you will carry that sense of failure yeah you're like no i am not going to fail you know i want to i want to make the see the light of the day correct in that sense so you don't want to give up you're at the receiving end of a lot of pain because you don't feel seen and understood and your presence it practically tells you know it just if you're somebody who's committed let's say and you want to move forward to it could be marriage let's say and if the other person is just not being able to get there now if they refuse it's okay you know you have like a certain finality to it right but if you see that they're working towards it but not getting anywhere that causes even more pain because then you have to bear literally that courage to say that i am not okay with this mm. that i want to walk out of this space and i think people are not very binary in their responses by the way right like they either it's not binary because you no, have like in their responses right oh, like okay, it's okay. not like they are they're not saying that okay you know i don't want to commit it's not like oh i'm working to commit itni clarity it's, hoti hai to yahan tak pahunchta hi nahi hai, nahi hai. Nahi. exactly yeah, it's like it's typically how i've seen it show up around me is that you know people actually avoid any uh you know confrontation about it right like i mean Correct. this conversation entirely is like avoided for example yeah. right? like suddenly people will travel or uh you know have other things to take care of and it Correct. won't come up right yes it won't and they sometimes they even clearly communicate this is not what i want to talk about yeah exactly I yeah i said like that yeah i don't it's the clarity yeah, that i don't want to address this it's correct exactly but then it's if you're at the receiving end of your partner having that fear then it's you are going to have to gather that courage mm. to show up for yourself and be like this is not me being true to myself this is mm. not how i see my life going and i would love it if this works out for us but in this period if we don't kind of cater to this then i'm not okay it takes courage it takes clarity it takes i think i'll go back to saying courage so many times <laughs> you know because everything that pulls you back into this and human beings are like such amazing spaces of familiarity right we love familiarity it doesn't right. matter whether it's good for us or not good for us known spaces is what we function in so walking out of that i mean and especially let's say if you've got into that relationship after a lot of effort 
and then you know so there's this sunk cost fallacy absolutely i was it was the word was on the tip of my tongue correct yeah that i've invested so much what if it's only about another month yeah what if it's only about another quarter let's say or one trip yeah or one visit to the therapist yeah like, or one if? milestone in life you know this is done that is done then it will be yes all right yeah so you've already lived that grief hmm and i think a lot of times it's the it's a relief Mm. It's painful, but it's relieving. It's a little lesser uncomfortable if you have help mm. to help you. Mm. You know, hand handhold yes. as such. Correct. Yes. Of course. Yeah. And and I'm sure like with that comes, uh, like you know, if it's a committed relationship which is not fructifying, for example, again there's this whole like you know gallery of faceless people that we think we are playing. Yeah. too yeah. right like i mean and the, it can be scary it can be scary because we are all living our lives on social media right like suddenly you, you know yeah. your, your pictures are going out and then they're not right like i mean i think it's it's and uh, that and then there are also people sometimes our friends who don't really get it yeah and they're like you know you spend so many years how about just some more or how mm. does it matter or things like that they they really hurt why them. don't you work it out why don't you work it out <laughs> as if that brilliant idea yeah. never struck us <laughs> yes <laughs> it's like hello matlab you know didn't i i did all that i could yeah and uh, but it hasn't worked out and it's okay for me to say that i am going to be the one to work out of it yeah mm i mean there's always a cost and a pay off right like i mean if the cost is you know uh, if the cost is lesser than the pay off you're okay you are okay yeah. and i think it's important to do that math mentally sometimes yeah it gets so mucky when you spend a lot of time correct especially years like especially yeah. when uh, we have men or women in the age group of 35 plus they yeah. spend 2 3 4 years trying to figure out yeah and then when they experience that you know it's it's something that can pull you down a lot mm Mm. And then, I mean, not just then, but there's also this aspect of loneliness. Right. How we experience it, what we think about it, how to deal with that. And I think, like, just like calling off is difficult because of the fear of being lonely as well, right? Like, because suddenly, yes. I yes. mean, you you are out uh, in the. You don't ocean. know how to share your life with. exactly, and, and uh, it's like okay, you're by yourself. Yeah, but I do believe that with with quite a few people that I've worked recently, it's possible to work with loneliness. Hmm. So, like I was mentioning just a little while back, that loneliness is not the problem. Hmm. The shame of loneliness is. and shame not by other people by ourselves by ourselves because we've been we've learned that it's not okay to be lonely mm-hmm. but loneliness is a very integral part of our emotional experience even people who are in super super solid stable relationships experience periods of loneliness in spite of their relationship being very fulfilling would you uh, call loneliness uh an extension of our experience of not just like you know being understood in some sense or being cared for or being wanted like being is wanted, it wanted being loved also that loneliness is a surface emotion right the there will be underlying grief hmm and uh, to be loved is one of our most basic core needs correct right so to be loved to feel wanted uh, to feel to be that seen, we belong or that we matter yeah there are those underlying needs when those needs are not met for a long time or for a long time across different people different relationships however the grief resides and the more we work with loneliness we uncover the grief we allow ourselves to live through that grief loneliness becomes okay we move towards solitude and my solitude it doesn't mean ki hame aur koi chahiye nahi life mein but we are okay in our own company but we are genuinely feeling okay hmm. we would love it to share our life with somebody else 
but we're genuinely also feeling okay by ourselves i would actually uh, like add a little other spin to it you know mm-hmm. when like i think solitude is okay when we are uh, in some form able to fulfill our own emotional needs by ourselves right like i mean in a lot of ways right like whether yes in a lot of ways, ways by ourselves and by ourselves can mean various strategies in life exactly yeah, right. yeah like i mean either you're seeking experiences so that you feel correct loved right like i mean or with the, the the way you said you know like finding tribe right like it's an important uh emotional need to feel understood so the way you just said that you did was to actually actively seek out groups and communities where it was normal for you to let's say you know go child free and it was like normal okay and like you know you can actually go above and beyond the fact that yes. is it normal Revelate. or not yeah revelated yeah. absolutely correct so you know like i think solitude is also like a lot about the fact that you're okay to provide yourself those experiences those people those communities those um, touch points in life you know whether it's through parents whether it's through family like i remember during my single time i ended up saying yes to all random bachelorette trips i'm like sure i'm game you know like right, <laughs> count yes. me in why not right like i'll i'll go and i'll add another trip to it make it solo, make it solo yeah, yeah whatever like i'll i'll do that right i was a yes to those so kind of things, things because yes. i think uh, like you know there were like my emotional needs which were not getting fulfilled because of the lack of a partner which i was fulfilling in you know so many other ways if okay. like like if other people's life was happening because they were going on on dates my life was more happy <laughs> because i was traveling <laughs> you know yeah i so, get it fully right Correct. like yes. i mean i think it's like that's what like you know yes being okay really uh in yourself you know yes, looks like yes it is it is a very crucial aspect of being okay with yourself right the deal is to really be okay within no nah, makes sense and when you're okay within your chances of getting somebody who is healthy increases manifold hmm. so it's really uh like you know nice the way you kind of put it that just being okay with yourself and like also feeling whole and complete before like you know a partner arrives right like i mean a partner can probably enhance the life but we are whole complete and perfect just as as we are just we as we are right great thank you so much this was very helpful uh, to krutika from 2 years ago and i hope this was this was very like i think both me and kushali had a preparatory chat about it and both of us were like wow i wish we kind of like you know heard this when we were in the same boat and this is incredibly personal um please let us know in the comments how you liked it and what you thought about it thank you so much kushali you are most for welcome. joining us i am supremely happy to be here thank you always thank you. willing for a good conversation lovely thank you so much